Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about irrigation and I've got about 10,000 plants behind me between this area and over in our other areas out there and I've got more on the way. But how much does it cost to irrigate all of this? It is middle of the summer, the days are long and the days are hot. It takes a lot of water to keep all of this irrigated. How many gallons does it take? How much money does it cost and is this a major expense in our nursery? Well, this is our first year doing this full time. We've never used anywhere near this amount of water before on irrigation and we're actually learning the answer to this question as I'm making this video. So I'm looking forward to showing y'all kind of exactly how we're going to figure this out and hopefully it's helpful to you today. So we really have three areas, three separate areas that we irrigate and we have this I, we call this our large area out here. You have to call your area something, and that's just what we call this one. And this is the one that we just recently built, just in the last, I guess, three months. And we did a video on when we built this, and we put all these plants out here, and it's kind of expanding, and we're about to expand it again and expand the irrigation again. But this is by far the area that is taking the most water. We have a one and a half inch water line with no pressure reducer on this whatsoever. So it's just a free flow from the water meter down that one and a half inch line, probably 250 or 300 feet straight out here. And I mean, it sprays like mad out here. I'm gonna show you the water actually spraying out here and try to give you an idea of, of how much water volume there is out here, because it's a lot. And then over that way, we've got two areas in the shade that are considerably smaller and they have pressure reducers on them. So they're not, they're not feeding as much water as over here, but we're gonna show you both of those. And the reason I wanna show you this is because I want you to get in your mind, if you're trying to start a small nursery, either in your backyard or on your farm or wherever it is, so you have in your mind some idea of how much water it's going to take for you to water the plants that you have in a certain area. So if you've got a larger area like I've got right here where I'm sitting, or if you've got a smaller area like I'll show you in a minute, just kind of give you an idea of what the difference is and how much water it uses in each one of those areas. We're standing out here at our water meter. You can see the plants in the background, at least some of them that we're gonna water. And I wanna take a look and see what our meter reading is. And then we're gonna check it again after we irrigate everything and see how many gallons we're using per irrigation cycle. In other words, how many we're using per day on irrigation. So for now, at least with this main area of our plants, I've just turned this on and off manually and I just set a timer on my phone so I know when to turn it off. But we run this for 17 minutes. Like that just seems to be the sweet spot for us on what gets everything thoroughly watered versus having way too much runoff. And we do that one time a day. And that seems to be enough water to keep everything out here growing well. And what I'm really looking for is by the end of the day, because this is morning, and by the end of the day after it's been hot, do I have plants out here that are looking wilted? And if I've got plants that look wilted, then either I need to run it longer in the morning or I need to run it a second time in the afternoon. So anyway, at least for now, we've settled on about 17 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the sprinkler on and just kind of show you what it looks like just for a second running. Another area, we have our larger area over there and another area that we have that we irrigate is right here where I'm standing. And mostly what's under here is small plants growing out. Just for example, that may be kind of a long way away, but there's a blue mouse ear hosta in a three inch pot. And that's, there's a few thousand hostas over here and plus green giants. We've got rows of Sharon growing in here. We've got butterfly bushes growing in here. I'm not even sure what all is in here, but nonetheless, this area is about 90% full and we water it every day. And maybe with an exception, you know, if we get a rain shower, we don't necessarily have to water this area because 
it gets various degrees of shade, but that shade cloth really helps reduce on your watering needs. And then we've got another area right over here. Chloe's going to video that, but walking into this shade house, and this was the very first thing we ever built out here. And you can see there's plants in here. Right now it's probably around 60% full, maybe 70% full, but we've cleared out the middle because we've got a thousand more perennials coming next week to pot up and that'll give us a spot to at least begin putting the first few of those at least to scatter them out as we get them so between the area that she's in over there and this area over here it just makes kind of an additional area for irrigation and we do it a little bit different over here both of these areas are on top we've had them on timers and they're on reduced pressure so they don't throw out near as much water at a time, but I only run the timer for about 12 minutes over here, once a day, and that's all it takes. And that's partially because we've got shade, or it's primarily because we've got shade coverings and the water need is just not near as high for plants that are being grown under a shade cover. So another advantage of using shade for sure, but we wanna combine these all these areas today and run the irrigation on all of them and let's see how much water it takes and then let's break down how much all that's going to cost to water probably right now there's probably between seven and nine thousand plants out here but we're not at capacity but we're working our way there how much water it takes and how much it costs all right so we've ran the, the sprinklers on our big area now we're going to do it on these two small areas and it, just in the small area we've got three sprinkler heads in here and two over in the other one so they're the sprinkler heads are we're asking them to cover a smaller area over here, but the pressure is reduced. So we're going to turn them on and we're going to go check the meter, see what it's doing gallon per minute wise and all of that. And come back and give you guys an update in just a second and figure out how much this costs and how much water we're using. All right, we're back out at the meter. Let's check the box and see how much we used. All right, and now that we are done, the number is 91,184. So let's go do the math and let's see what all this adds up to. All right, guys, so this has turned into really an educational thing for us. Like during the making of this video, we got our last water bill. And we've mentioned this in our videos, but between May the 20th and about July the 4th, 5th, 6th, somewhere right in there. We had almost zero rain here and very hot. Most days in the 90s, a couple of days, 100, 102 degrees. And we watered during that period virtually every single day. There were a few days when we did not water, when we had a, a rain shower in the afternoon, maybe up to two tenths of an inch. And I was kind of terrified, to be honest with you, about how much it was costing us to run all this water because I've never used anywhere near this much water before. So I was watering as sparingly as I could, but yet at the same time keeping our plants healthy and alive, which absolutely is the priority. So our water bill came, and I'm going to pop this up here on the screen, just a, a, a snapshot of it, but of the relevant parts of it. But our actual water usage during that period or during most of that period was about 26,000 gallons of water now if, if you don't know anything about irrigation or like what kind of water you're actually using when you irrigate our consumption for our family of five just for our house just our residential use is about four to five thousand gallons a month so it's about five times that for irrigation just to give you some idea of what we're talking about here so we got our bill in and thankfully i had no idea literally none how much this bill was going to be, but our bill turned out to be $151 for 26,000 gallons of use. And that's in a month where we ran the sprinkler 23, 24, 25 days, something like that. And again, there are days when I ran it a little bit shorter. Maybe we had a light rain shower, or maybe I didn't run it in the shade houses that day for this reason or that. But for the most part, that represents the very high end of what our water bills will ever be because we had no rain. So that encourages me going forward. Another reason I thought this might be helpful to you guys is just to see the volume of water that's used. So we could probably set up our sprinkler system to have a little bit less waste, 
Uh, I'm not doing drip irrigation. I'm absolutely not doing that for thousands of plants. Forget it. I'm not doing it. There are ways that I could use less water, I'm, I'm sure, but this gives you some idea of how much water it might take. And I fully understand that everybody can't use this much water through their municipal water system. Well, if that's the case for you, then you need to look into how much it costs to do a well. You may look into the economics and the practicality of storing rainwater or other forms of rain runoff. I, I don't know. It, it, it varies so much on place to place in the country. Some place water restrictions are really tight and some places like where I live, there's no water restrictions whatsoever. And you know, it just varies. And, and I'm aware of that as I make this. So one of the things that I know is that irrigation is a big issue for some of you guys thinking about starting a nursery because you ask me about it pretty often. And this was my way of showing you what we do. It doesn't mean it's what you're going to do. It doesn't mean it's going to be what your numbers are, but it's what our numbers are. So for what it's worth, I hope that's been helpful. So for our exercise that we did today, our little test today, uh, remember we checked our water meter when we started and it started out about 89,900 was the number on the meter. That's gallons used from the time the meter was put in and it finished up when we were done at around 91 thousand gallons today. So these are going to be round numbers. I'm just not getting exact because it doesn't matter, but that meant that today, which is just an average day, that we used about 1,300 gallons of water to irrigate our plants. So it's taken us about 1,300 gallons per day to irrigate our plants. That's full irrigation. That's 17 minutes in the big section, 12 minutes in the small section. So that gives you an idea. Our water rate is about $5.80 per thousand gallons, which means that just approximate numbers, it's taken us, it's costing us about $7.50 a day to water our plants on the days that we run irrigation. Now, rain does all kinds of interesting things. If it rains, you know, at two or three o'clock in the afternoon and you get a good heavy rain and it stays cloudy the rest of that day, you don't have to rain that day and you probably don't have to water the next day either. So, you know, just kind of depends on, it all depends in the summer on rain. So, you know, we're always hoping to get some rain for the sake of irrigation, but at the same time, it costs us about $7.50 per day. Well, that's not that much when you're talking about thousands and thousands of plants to water. We're on a public water system. We, we don't have a well. Uh, many questions I've been asked about, are you guys going to get a well for your irrigation? I don't know if we eventually will or not, but it would take years for us to recoup the investment of putting in a well that might cost between five and ten thousand dollars to have installed. So what I'm showing you guys on irrigation today is also the summer months. I mean there are months like December, January, I mean the winter months when we don't irrigate at all and our water bill is between zero and seventeen dollars because seventeen is our minimum. If we run any water, it's seventeen dollars. So if we run zero, it's zero dollars. But this is over the course of a year, you know, you're talking about us spending less than a thousand dollars irrigating everything that we have. So between running electricity for a well, drilling the well itself, piping the well, you know, you're probably easy getting eight to ten thousand dollars for a well and 10 years to recoup an investment, that's not very good. So I don't know if we'll get a well. We may grow our nursery more where our irrigation needs are much greater. And, you know, I don't know. We'll see about all that with time. But I guess what I want to show you is that irrigation is really a pretty minimal expense for us. I'm actually really happy to see that it is as low as it is. Uh, you know, we use the water hose and hand water a few things every day. Our mist system's running every day, but that is just negligible amount of water compared to our overhead watering that covers, you know, the overwhelming majority of what we're doing. So for us, seven fifty dollars a day on the days that we run the irrigation. And, you know, that's pretty good. That's, you know, I think worst case scenario, if we go through a drought, it's 100 degrees every day, literally zero rain for a month. I think our water bill is going to be between $200 and $220. So... And that's probably not ever going to happen. So maybe this is helpful to you just as kind of an exercise in how much water you might expect to use. I know that price of water varies wildly depending on where you are in the country. There are places in country that put you in jail if you use this much water in a month. Well, we're not that way. Our water comes out of the Tennessee River. The Tennessee River is never going dry. So, 
not really an issue for us. And I'm really thankful for that. But anyway, we were glad to do this today and it was very helpful to me. So maybe it has been to you also. So that's it for today's video. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all and we'll see you on the next one.